field there, hear a cow there, sheep everywhere, sneeze attack. <laughs> that reminds me, I have to set the alarm for tomorrow. Wake me at dawn. <laughs> I tried to set him for other times and I'm still searching for the snooze button. Maybe it's under there. <laughs> but I got him on sale, what the hay? <laughs> Speaking of hay, how about some more farm fun? Hey, 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 hey. Mom, I'm a very rich pony, and for my birthday, moms and dads bought me a man. I'm going over there to ride him now. Oh, oh this isn't as easy as it looks. Oh, where are the stirrups? Did he come with a saddle? Now there you go, giddy up, giddy up, man. Boy, living in the kennel next door to this nuclear plant sure has made me the biggest dog of all. <laughs> Just take me to the cows, okay? Where are they? They're in this field? Don't bother with the gate, I'll find my own way. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, what's with the hey, hey, hey? If you've been locked up in a barn all winter, you might feel a little frisky, too. Let go, will you, buddy? I'm trying to make some time here. Oh, ladies! Oh, boy, you a drag. Oh, hi, cows, it's me, Bernard the Bull. If I may say so, the green of the grass goes great with the brown of your eyes. Yoo-ho! When it came to horse-to-horse -horse talk, who did Mr. Ed turn to? Now, that would exclude Wilbur. What horses did he talk to? Not Flicka, not Secretariat or Seabiscuit. It was Shagra, the talking horse of Canada. That's not true, but what do I care? I give you the return of Shagra, the talking horse of Canada. I hang in my window and I turn on my light. Getting ready to sing at the party tonight. Brush them hard and I make them all shine. Tonight that spotlight's gonna be mine. I'm just a cool Canadian, so what do you think? I drive them all crazy when I give them a wink. I answer my phone in just one ring. Hello, baby, come on over, see me do my thing. You know, when my wife and I were thinking of who our dream babysitter would be, only one name came to mind, Mick Jagger. But then we faced reality and put in a call into Axl Rose. No, no, we wised up. We called Little Richard. Baby face, you got the cutest name. Baby face, there's not another who could he take your place. Illustrious producers who have never lost faith in the disco movement or its wardrobe have narrowed the field down to these three bell-bottomed, open-shirt, gold-chain, platform-heeled choices. They are Dracula Scream, sent in by Henry Aguirre from Miami, Florida. Now, there are two ways you could greet Dracula. You could say, Hello, Dracula, how's it going? Or you could say... <laughs> Drummer Cat, sent in by the Murray family from Madison, Wisconsin. Now, Concerto for Bongos and Bugs, take one. Half tempo. And Bride and Groom Blowout, sent in by the Isabel family from East Lansing, Michigan. Face it, you're a weak woman, and I'm a strong man. That's the way it uh, has to be. All right, studio audience, when the mirror ball rotates in your direction, hold up your voting thingy like this and vote. Vote now. I'm staying alive. Vote. Who will it be?
Dracula Scream, The Little Drummer Cat, or Bride and Groom Blowout? We'll find out in a moment. <laughs> 